We are going to be using liquid watercolor to paint our tiger. Liquid watercolor is essentially watercolor that's already mixed with water, so there's no need to get your paintbrush wet. You're going to dip your brush in the paint and then start to paint your tiger. Since we use the oil pastel, it's creating a resist, meaning it's not allowing the paint to stick on top of it. If you go over some of your black oil pastel, that's okay. We do want to leave the eyes and the cheeks white. Everything else on your tiger can be painted orange. You're going to paint the tiger face, body, and then the tail. When you're finished painting, put them over on the dry rack. For the background, begin by writing your name and class on your paper and then flipping it over. We are going to be using the colors green, yellow, and blue. These colors are analogous because they sit together on the color wheel and they blend together to make a nice color. You can start by just doing splotches of green if you want, or you can paint a majority of the paper one color and then layer on your other colors. I'm kind of skipping around because I thought it would be nice to have some larger areas of green and then I could mix in some yellows and blues to get the different color variation. Your goal is to paint the entire paper. If you'd like to mix color while you're painting, you may do so on your paper. Do not mix the paint together on the plate. You will be sharing plates of paint with your table partners, so it would be unfair for them if you mixed all of the paint together on the plate. Brush the color onto the paper and then go into a new color on your plate. Try to leave no white spaces. When you're finished, put it on the dry rack to dry.